Why does my ground branch have positive power to it? Don't know. There really should have been one ground to the dash, right. and then everything fed off the dash. They've got like 35 individual grounds running to this. Let me see. I got a fire. Phantom Works might be famous for being one of the best car reality shows on TV, but very few people also know that Phantom Works is the name of the largest auto restoration shop in the US, and that's no joke. The company is owned by Dan Short, and the story of Dan's success is perhaps one of the most inspiring stories you'll ever hear. Dan only fell in love with cars when he saw a Camaro when he was younger. Of course, Dan saved up to buy the vehicle, but he couldn't pay someone to restore it, and that's when his journey began. He decided to work on the car himself, and that's when he discovered that he really, really loved vehicles. I believe men have two passions in life, truly. One is for women, and the other is for a car. But Dan didn't go into restoring cars straight away. He first went to serve in the army, and after 24 years of serving in the military, he decided to resign. He then decided to take his childhood passion for classic cars and turn it into a flourishing business. However, the universe had even greater things in store for him, as Velocity TV executives quickly found him and made him a proposition to build a reality TV show around his business. And that is how Phantom Works, the restoration shop, turned into Phantom Works, the show. For the show to work, Daniel had to ensure that all of the cast working at the shop were experts who were extremely competent at their job. The show itself was centered around four major characters. The first character was Daniel Short, as he was the head of the company and probably the chief technical officer, even though he never actually called himself that. The second person that the show centered itself around was Melissa. Melissa was one of the oldest workers at the company and had been with Daniel since the very first opening day. While Melissa wasn't on screen for so long during the show, we understood that she was the one managing the books in the shop. That means she was the one who had to deal with invoicing, banking, and every other financial business that the company needed. She's also a veteran like Dan. It was a thankless job, and Melissa did it without having to put herself in the glare of the cameras. The third primary cast of the show was Andy, who was a structural welder with years of experience and expertise. Interestingly, when Andy got to Phantom Works, he only had a year of experience under his belt. However, he had a willingness to learn quite rapidly, and he was able to prove himself time and time again throughout the show. Wayne was the company's auto body technician and the last primary member of the cast. He was also a US veteran and a former EMT. Wayne is easily the second most experienced person on the team, as he started body work when he was just 16 and had already racked up about 20 years of experience with auto bodies. And of course, we certainly aren't going to forget Heidi, a lovable German shepherd who only ever wanted some head scratches, belly rubs, and tasty treats. The goal of this video, of course, would be to find these people and talk about where they are now, especially when Phantom Works has recently been cancelled. But before we look at that, it's important to know why Phantom Works was cancelled. Why would such a huge show be cancelled? Well, you should know that Phantom Works, the show, just like Phantom Works, the shop, was a huge success. In the first episode of the show, Dan and his crew restored a 1963 Chevrolet Corvette and a Ford Model A hot rod. The vehicles after restoration looked almost as good as brand new, and the before and after pictures of the show showed that Dan and his crew had worked some magic on it. The first episode was so well received that it fired up the ratings of the show, and the show continued to ride that wave of ratings until the end of the first season. As the show grew in popularity, so did the net worth of the people on the show. Dan, for example, made a fortune from the show, and as a result of that could pay his technicians an even higher rate. According to a lot of estimates, Dan is now worth around $3.5 million, with around $2 million of that coming from his earnings from the show. Now, we don't know how much he earns, but according to City Averages, the show's cast was paid up to $50,000 per episode. If that's true, then the $2 million figure is just about correct. All in all, from the outside, the Phantom Works setup was a great system, and everyone was happy. However, the most important person in the entire cast, Dan, wasn't very happy about it, and this would all come to a head when the show was finally cancelled by Velocity. And why was the show suddenly cancelled? That was the question a lot of fans of Phantom Works wanted an answer to, but they found nothing. In show business, when that happens, it simply means that the reason isn't a press-friendly one. But Dan Short did come online to talk via a letter about the reason why the show was cancelled. 
Fans said it was too dangerous to film in the garage, as there were lots of equipment that one could not move and could be damaged by the filming process. He went as far as saying that there was a lot of damaged equipment, and the camera and crew would just have to take three or five shots of about the same scene. Dan also opened up about the constraints that the team found with filming. According to him, they were filming about four to five times a week, which is an awful lot even for actual movie stars. He then ended his letter by thanking everyone involved in the filming of the show ever since the first day. So, according to Dan, the show was cancelled because of shooting constraints and the heavy schedule that he and his team had to go through to create a new episode of the show. But this was just the ninth season of the show, and it might seem unlikely that something so basic would stop a show like Phantom Works. Could the cancellation of the show then have been due to declining ratings? Well, that's a working assumption, and it follows the golden rule of show cancellation. If you don't know why a show is cancelled, it was probably because of low ratings. However, if you agree with that assumption, you'd be wrong, because the decision to cancel the show wasn't in the hands of Velocity Network alone. In fact, the network wanted to continue shooting the show, but they didn't have one vital member of the cast on their side. That's right, Dan Short quit the show himself in 2017, and only agreed to do one more season out of his goodwill. Apparently, the filming of the show was taking all the shop's time, and Phantom Works couldn't even properly attend to customers anymore because they were filming so many times. And this wasn't just Dan's assessment. Over the nine seasons of the show, Velocity had to change directors over six times, simply because the directors couldn't or wouldn't work with the workshop setup of the establishment. In fact, a few of them complained that the workshop wasn't set up in a studio instead, since that was how reality TV shows set up their workshops and their studios. That sort of thing kind of wears you down quite badly, and at some point, you really just snap. And that's what happened to Dan. Dirt over it and the worms have eaten it. There is nothing left here to save. This patient is gone. This car is possessed. I mean, half a mile at five miles an hour. He decided to take his leave from the world of show business and continue his actual business. And who can blame him? Filming for five days a week and doing tens of retakes every day is something that only a professional actor should have to do, not someone trying to run a successful business. This means that Phantom Works wasn't cancelled because of terrible ratings. Instead, it was cancelled because Dan Short, the owner of Phantom Works, decided to quit. So, what are the Shorts now doing in their time? And what of Andy and Wayne? Well, the Phantom Works show is cancelled, not the Phantom Works business. So, after the cancellation of the show, the business continued as it had always done. Yes, that means that everyone in the show is most likely still working at Phantom Works and doing all the regular things you saw them do on television. Dan Short is still out there in Virginia restoring gorgeous vehicles, and Melissa is still behind the scenes making sure everything runs as it should. Phantom Works is probably one of the very few car repair reality TV shows that one can say is totally authentic and genuine. The show is so authentic that even after all the cameras are gone, the cast is still hard at work doing their regular jobs. But that level of authenticity doesn't come without its own price to pay. Of course, one of the prices that Dan had to pay to retain his authenticity was to say goodbye to the Phantom Works show itself. Was that a reasonable price to pay? Well, only Dan Short himself can answer that question. Right now, he's probably doing the one thing he loves doing best, repairing cars. And long may he continue.